Hey guys, this is me, Dragon Keeper, and this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to make a river or stream uh, for your uh, vivarium. Um, this is a really quick project. I made this in probably like 8 minutes, um, and it's pretty cheap too. I'd say estimated price would be, including the pump, would be like, like 13 not, not even that, because like, isn't, isn't... Well, depends on how much gravel you Yeah, if you already have gravel, it's like that. Probably be $20 about, but like, the gravel's kind of already a necessity for a lot of people's tanks. But, um, yeah, so it's pretty cheap, just in general. Um, but it looks nice, and it adds a water feature, especially, this would be something that'd probably be ideal for poison dart frogs, just because it's so shallow that they really couldn't drown in it, because they're, um... They often, like, they, they can only live with shallow water. Like, if you have deep water, like, on this end, they'll drown. So, um, yeah. Basically, the only materials that you need for this are, um, a pump. Uh, this is a 10-gallon per hour pump. Uh, I'd say that's about minimum. Maybe you could go slightly lower. But I don't, they don't really even sell things that are much weaker than 10 gallons. So, really, I'd say 10 gallons is about the lowest you can go. Uh, later... Hopefully later tonight we're going to be making a video with this. We're made, designing a new tank for the uh, grays. It's probably going to be... Uh, we might make a video on how to make like a nice looking tank for cheap cost. But um, this is 250 gallons as you can, there you go, as you can see. Uh, so we're going to hope to make a river at the bottom with it. So it's going to look pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Uh, I'm going to hand this off to... Oh, uh, yeah, just some quick materials. You're going to need gravel. Uh, again, ideally, you'd have the entire thing covered with this, but we couldn't afford that. Well, <laughs> we didn't want to spend that much money just on gravel, especially because we're using this gravel for that tank. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and then you're going to need a large rock, <laughs> uh, some air tubing, a pump. A plastic slide. And a plastic slide. Which looks like, again, just use a non-toxic non plastic. Um, vary the size of the slip, the width of it by roughly, well, just vary it, like, depending on the strength of your filter. Something which is probably, this is probably about two inches long, should work fine for a 10-gallon. You might, you probably need something that's four inches long, or more for some Wide. For four, sorry, four inches wide <laughs> for, like, this. Just because it's got so much more strength, you don't want, like, just splashing everywhere off of the track. So, yeah, we're gonna totally wreck this <laughs> now. Uh, sorry, I'm from scratch, so you guys can see how I made it. Okay, so, um, the pump's down here, the filter, and, well, I like this kind of pump, because the air tubing just fits straight into it. <laughs> Again, air tubing, uh, uh, sorry, one thing about air tubing, the pet stores, they charge, like, five dollars or something, and, like, yeah, some, like, really like unnecessary amount for, like, feet. three or, yeah, three to five feet of air tubing. You Go to get, Home Depot, and you can literally get 25 feet for two dollars. So, like, like... It's insane. Yeah, like, we're pretty much stocked with air tubing for life, and we spent, like, three dollars on it. And also, something like this, you'd need the different sizes to Again, slowly make yeah. it smaller and make it more concentrated. Um, also something like this won't need the air tubing because you can place it above the water and it still fires. Right, so like, the only reason that this needs air tubing is because we can't get it above the gravel without the thing. So anyways, so, you then just cover up your piece, um, make I'm it so only, move, yeah. I'm gonna move this slightly over. Uh, make it so only the tip of the air tubing is sticking out, you just want to... Obviously, you want to make it look as natural as possible. You don't want just, like, wires. Unfortunately, you can't avoid that wire. Although, you can actually... You can disguise it pretty well if you put, like, a plant in front of it or something. Yeah, but, um, obviously, bag. you don't want to show us uh, that much, uh, machine. There's a man-made product. So, yeah, you can barely see it. Just, at this point, it just looks like a, uh, fountain kind of coming out of the ground. This is also... Basically what he's doing here, this is the same principle as what you do for a basic waterfall as you see Just take you over to the red eye tank uh, The leaf's kind of drooping down so it really isn't as impressive as it used to be We're gonna probably re-angle it But as you see here, again it's really just tubing dripping down a leaf But um it's, it's basically the same principle, it's just using a pump to put water in a cycle Except in this case you're making it go 
uh, down like a slope with like rocks and stuff, whereas for the waterfall you're just making it fall down. Waterfalls are actually easier to make than streams. Much easier. Uh, so yeah. And then I'm going to place this underneath. And have it going down the slide. Hopefully this is the best job I've done. Uh, I've done this about four times today. Yeah, again. <laughs> this is, I think, our sixth time today doing this. Um, it gets easier as you go, but it takes a lot of, it only takes about 10 minutes to make, but then it takes a lot longer to get it perfect, just to adjust it. Um, but really, this is like a 10 minute project, like, it really takes very little work. Really all it is is putting a pump in air tubing and disguising it. Again, you want to make it look as little, like, you want to kind of disguise the pump thin. Like the pump factor, you don't want it shooting out too obviously. Like that. Like you want it to be kind of like dripping down like a natural stream. Again, this will look way better when you um add moss. And yeah, because then it'll be less obvious. But yeah, that is the basic principle of how to make a stream. Again, this isn't the best work. But uh, with some adjusting, it'll look really nice. And it's a really nice water feature and it adds humidity for tanks uh, with animals that need uh, shallow water um okay so this is pretty much pretty much finished again it needs a lot of adjusting but yeah um we're gonna try and do an example a little bit later when we make the river with the 250 gallon thin so um check that video out if you want to see wanna how see. powerful this is um it's pretty oh. insane yeah so okay. basically this is um to give you an idea, this is the river that we're going to be making from. So, yeah. Uh, you can't it's really see hard it. To show. Yeah, it's kind of hard to show, but... It's pretty powerful. As you can see, it yeah, it moves the gravel. gravel. <laughs> so yeah, uh, check that video out. There you go. Check that video out if you can. And um, so hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.